Welcome back. It's Melanie or She Shit Scrappers. So today I'm back with a layout redo, I guess. I did this layout and there is a process video up for this layout, but I've been thinking about it and think it's just way too busy. Um, I don't like how busy it is. And then I remembered I have a Not Just For Boys kit from quite a while ago all about reading. And I just thought these colors would kind of go better with my photo being at the pool than this busy busyness i guess um and now i kind of have some ideas this is in florida you can see palm trees in the background so i think i'm going to actually use my um, palm fronds stamp um, bring in some of that florida goodness and then maybe this time to relax stamp um, i have the thin cut for it so i think i might use that kind of as my title and I am going to reimagine, repurpose this layout. Um, I'm not taking the photo off quite yet. I can always reprint it. I think I do have, and hopefully I can find it, um, the kind of placeholder, the four by six placeholder. So I'll use that when I am, yeah, creating this layout. I am going to use the avocado ink. I think that'll look really nice. Um, and then the kit came, I think, with these. One says read and memories. And then these cute little um, book charms. So we are going to get started. So I'm going to get started by using these stamps and cutting them out. Like I said, I'm going to use the avocado ink. I turned my Versamat over. It's kind of a spongier side and it works really well with um, stamping. So I am, like I said, going to use the avocado ink. I am actually going to do, I think it's called second generation stamping. So you can see how the first one is a lot darker. And then if I stamp again, I get a lighter color. Um, but the same tone and I really like that. So I'm going to do that with several of the stamps. And before I forget to mention, these are on sale this month, March, um, at, a close to my heart. Um, both this one and the one with the surfboard that says time to relax. Both of those are on sale um, as long as they are not out of stock. Um, so definitely check those out. I will have the links down below if you want to get your hands on those because I feel like this I don't know, I love how many different types of leaves you get with this stamp set. Um, and then the other one is just so good, such a great one for summertime um, and kind of some good titles too. So I, there's two different ways to use stamps and thin cuts. I stamp and then I kind of tape my thin cut um, onto it just using some washi tape and then run it through my um, machine I've seen other designers um, cut it out first and then stamp on the cutout image. Um, I think I've done that a handful of times, but when I kind of mass produce, I guess, like I did with the leaves, I like to kind of stamp them all out and then just cut them all out like that. Um, and maybe I need to try the other way when I mass produce. I guess I haven't done that way. So there are two different ways to do it. Um, I, I'm going to apologize for the shakiness. I am still inside. Um, and so I've mentioned it before. My tripod's just on the same table. So it is a little bit shakier. But I think come April, um, or at least middle to end of April, I'll be out back out into the she shed. Um, so it won't be as shaky. So now that I have all of those cut out, I am going to use what I have left over of this kit. Um, I love the colors of this kit. It's just so different, especially that yellow. Uh, so I am going to use what I have. You can see that I just kind of ripped the bottom of the yellow there. Uh, and then I'm going to just layer, 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 and more layers. Uh, I want knew I wanted to kind of layer behind my photo and then layer behind the yellow. And so what I did is I did the blue, but on opposite sides. Um, so you can see on behind the yellow, it's on the right, behind the photo, it's on the left. And I just felt like that kind of offset really nicely. So this is going to be the base of my layout. Really quick and easy. It came together really fast. Um, quite honestly, the stamping is what took... <laughs> 
probably the most time with this layout. Um, so once I kind of figure out where I want my photo, I'm going to place that. Really do love that time to relax title that I'm going to be using. I thought that was just perfect. Book, pool, what better. Um, kind of funny thing is this photo was taken in October down there, but I mean, you can't really tell it is a little bit cloudy. Uh, I think this is the only time we spent at the pool, the only nice time that we had. It was so windy, uh, but enjoyed my time nonetheless. So I decided instead of doing the like visual triangle, I am just going to kind of surround my photo. Uh, the leaves, at least a couple of them, you know, kind of round and go out opposite ways. And I just felt like it rounded out a around my photo really nicely. And so you can just see I layered the different colors, the different styles of the um, images, just kind of layered them on the two corners of that layout. Um, and then I'm gonna use those two, or two of the three acrylic pieces from the kit. The top one says memories and the bottom says read. And I decided to back the reed with that blue paper. Uh, it's not perfect. I didn't cut it wide enough, I don't think. But it is what it is. I just taped it on the back side. Um, but it helped that reed stand out a little bit more, I feel like, than just leaving it plain on the yellow paper. So I am going to... Um, it's going to kind of skip ahead a little bit. Uh, I ended up getting called into work and had to pause the layout and come back the next day but I am going to use two of these charms I think I leave the top one where I place it but I think I do maybe move the bottom or I move them both I don't really remember quite honestly right off the bat I could pull up that layout and check um, so here's the next day I decided to add another one of the leaves to the left hand side just to extend it up some more and then while I was thinking about this layout I remember that I had some perfect uh, canvas flares from Scrap and Happy Studio it was the right color green and it had the palm fronds on it so I did add those one to each of the acrylic pieces and I did end up moving the book charms a little bit um, and then I decided, you know what, I have matching heart, um, wow, not acrylic, epoxy flares from Scrap and Happy Studio as well. So I added those to each side, opposite colors, if that makes sense. And then I decided I didn't love just the stark white. So I drew a messy border. Um, I went twice around the outside of my paper just with a black marker. And then I remembered I had a um, stamp from close to my heart, sorry, that has uh, five X's, I guess, and decided that would be perfect to add to the layout here. Uh, if this one is on sale as well, I will link this one down below. It might be the Perfectly Imperfect stamp set, which I love. Um, so what I did is I actually did opposite corners and used the avocado and the honey butter ink um, and kind of where the two I guess borders kind of gapped is where I decided to add those um, squares. So here you can see again the first layout compared to the second layout. I think that photo will look so much better on the second layout. Um, I just feel like it's not as busy and the photo kind of will be able to shine a little bit more so than that other layout. Uh, but I would love to have your guys' opinions. Let me know which one's your favorite, um, what I should do with, I guess, that first layout, if anything, or just scrap it all together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.